Awase, and then further on to Diaka until uh, Mweda were all occupied by the insurgents. So we were able to dislodge them from all these locations. The significance of this particular town is that it held a power station that feeds all these provinces. So the insurgents destroyed the power plant. Uh, we always ask ourselves why they would destroy a power plant, which is very important for the supply of power to them and to the citizens. It didn't make sense uh, to us. Yeah, but they did. They destroyed everything. Look at this building. So basically, they, they just operated in the bush. They were defeated on the ground, and the, the few remnants scattered in different areas, and were not able to, you know, reorganize themselves. So uh, the few areas that they moved into were also recently destroyed. That is Chia uh, and uh, Nika de Uvuma and Punda. So those were areas that they moved uh, to after we dislodged them from their, you know, single strongholds. We had to first of all conduct military operation to dislodge insurgents from the strongholds that they had. The second uh, mission was to conduct security operations, which we are conducting every other day, to ensure that civilians return safely to their homes. The third, of course, is stabilization and return to normalcy which is what is going on right now. So we are basically in the third phase. The fourth phase would be security sector reform. And that requires us to prepare the forces to be able to take off, to take off in our absence. So that phase hasn't really uh, started, but we hope that it will, we are in the planning phase. The biggest challenge was the destruction of infrastructure, which was uh, very important for us to operate. Yeah. But there was the reinstatement of you know, power stations, the construction of power st stations, the return of uh, certain key infrastructure. I think we have network now in some places, so we can communicate. It was a problem in the beginning. Yeah, so this power plant was recently built, and as you can see everywhere you are, there is power. There is a return of you know, electricity in all the five districts, which is a good thing. Yeah, so this is part of the return to normalcy, maintain the war effort. We dislodged them from this location when they were actually staying in the bushes, scattered in the bushes. They were not staying in buildings because there was no power. So I think that was the whole idea. Uh, they wanted to stay in the bushes and fight whoever is trying to you know, get to the city. But uh, their agenda was not positive in any way. They didn't have any plan of building the nation. All they wanted was to destroy. Yeah, so this power plant was recently built, and as you can see everywhere you are, there is power. There is a return of you know, electricity in all the five districts, which is a good thing. These people have their ideology. Actually, one of the things that is paradoxical is the fact that they actually destroyed mosques. They, I, I believe theirs was a kind of extremist agenda. So it wasn't really about Muslims versus Christians. It was a, a, an agenda of extremism and lack of tolerance.